Hi guys, so I got holes drilled into my feet today and I'm not just saying this for clickbait, literally holes drilled into my feet. Um, so basically, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know for the past month, I've been complaining about um, my feet and, and being on my feet. I currently work in the emergency department and you're on your feet non-stop. I get a 30 minute break and that's the only time I sit down. Other than that, I'm on my feet, I'm doing something, I'm engaged. So you can imagine it's a lot of pressure and it's a lot of change from um, just doing ward rungs and then you have a break. So there's that lack of break. In addition to working in the emergency department, I've still continued to uh, a, a good degree, I would say my regular working out. So I've been putting a lot of pressure on my feet. And I noticed that I began to develop tenderness on the, the, the if this is, if this is, I'll just show you, I'll actually show you guys the video. If you could picture this as the sole of your feet, on the outward bit where they have, where they have this extra cushion on the feet, it was getting so painful to even walk. Like I couldn't put the slightest pressure on it, but I had to go to work. I was still working on it. I was still working out in pain. Um, so yesterday on my Instagram, I reached out and I was asking people like, what do you use? Because it's not normal. I shouldn't be in this amount of pain. And I got some really great suggestions and feedback. Um, Dr. Scholl's inserts were mentioned. And I was also given some brands I could try. Um, the Nike, uh, there's a, a special brand, a, a, a range of Nike, I can't remember the name right now. Um, Crocs was mentioned. So um, I'm still going to change my shoes. I currently wear Skechers and Skechers is so, the one I have, it has this nice memory foam sole and it's comfortable, like I feel the cushion. So it was just abnormal to me that I basically have a cushion footwear and I was still in so much pain. So I decided to look for a YouTube video to see if anyone have, has ever experienced anything similar. And I found a video where this guy went to a podiatrist and basically they were removing with a scaffold calluses that had built up. So then I googled tender calluses and I realized that's what had happened to my foot. Um, I had So basically, anytime there is a lot of pressure or friction to an area, the body tries to protect that area by developing a thicker skin. And so that's what had happened. At my padded region on my feet, I had developed calluses on that. Um, and that's what had become tender for me. So last night, actually, I booked a podiatrist and I went to see him today and he was so amazed. He said like, one, it's quite odd that I have it on both feet. So he thinks that I might be compensating for maybe some weakness in my hip. And that's the feedback I'm really going to take because one of the things I'm wondering is if I have a hip muscle that's underdeveloped compared to my other muscles and that's the reason why I have now shifted all my weight to the lateral aspects of my feet and I'm not walking like this, I'm walking more at an angle so that is something I'm going to look into on, on how to correct. Um, anyway, so he examined my feet and I basically, he took a scalpel and this is an image of him here. He took a scalpel and he removed um, the calluses. On the left, it was quite easy. It was just a bit removal and then he pressed and the pain was gone. It was like magic. However, on the right, I had two 
and he said they were so deep he suspect that this has been developing over years which I think is amazing because like I've had pedicures I you know I think I take care of my feet so um yeah anyways and on the right side you have to go down deep so much so that now I'm still in pain from the hole that has been drilled um, because from what I understand and like from the video I saw basically it forms this little plug or a stone like lesion formed beneath the skin and it's this stone like lesion that irritates the tissue and causes the pain so he had to drill down into into my skin and take that plug out um, so let's see what my feet look like now okay guys so this is my feet currently it's been bandaged I'm going to remove the bandage so I created a feet hole I have not seen I'm nervous to see it because even walking on it I'm I mean it's better than it was So that's what he did. I'm trying to get the camera to focus. And then the dark stuff, he placed some. So this is the area that had developed the colors. And then he had to create the hole to dig out the plug I was describing. Um, the black stuff, he put some silver nitrate to try to get it to heal because it was just so deep okay guys so yeah so basically now i have this hole in my foot and i'm just praying that it heals overnight because one actually i'm a bit disappointed because i thought it would have been like the right foot where he just takes a bit of skin off and then the pain is gone so I had planned to exercise and now I wish I exercised before going to him if I knew that I would have not been able to walk on it after I would have exercised before. Um, and two, I'm worried because I have work tomorrow and I have work for the rest of the week and I'm on 10 hour shifts all week. So I don't know how I'm going to do it but yeah. Um, anyways, have you ever had a similar experience? What do you do to care for your feet? Um, what shoes do you use? Do you work long shifts? How have you, um, how have you managed or mitigated or prevented um, such developing such lesions? Yeah, I'd really, really love to know. I'd love to hear from you.